Okay. So, hello, hello. I'm so excited. <laughs> Melanie Franklin is here. Um, I'm so glad. Uh, thank you very much uh, for accepting my invitation uh, to this conversation about a uh, beautiful workshop, Agile Change uh, Manager. And uh, um, I know that this workshop is actually based on your, on your book. On the back. Yes. Yeah, Agile <laughs> Change Management. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the book and uh, how it was written and uh, your initial idea? <laughs> I, um, I've been working in change management and project management for 30 years. And the thing that I'm most concerned about is that we're very good at the delivery. Um, yeah. So project management. I used to be global head of project and program management. And so all of my project management colleagues would concentrate on the delivery of new outputs. Mm -hmm. So we would be very clear about a technical project would be delivering a new system, for example. Yeah. Um, an organization design project would be delivering a new structure, a new target operating model. Yeah, exactly. We are all in, in products, yes? We yes, they're tangible. Product. Yeah. They are something new. The, the secret, though, that if we are going to re realize benefits, mm -hmm. I've invested money in this thing, but unless people use it and start working in a new mm -hmm. way, then we don't realize the benefits. And so mm -hmm. for me, that element of behavioral change has always been the most, the, the missing piece between great project management and mm -hmm. actually realizing the benefits and mm -hmm. my job is to realize benefits for my stakeholders to create mm -hmm. improvements mm -hmm. um, which might be to deliver financially greater revenue or lower mm -hmm. costs mm -hmm. or it might be to create the right atmosphere with customer engagement staff satisfaction regulatory compliance mm -hmm. but those five examples it's clear that my job is to create benefits is mm -hmm. to make a difference mm -hmm. and i wanted a course that really concentrated on that yeah um I've, I've got a lot of agile qualifications i've got a lot of change management qualifications and i wanted to bring the two together so that mm -hmm. my colleagues in project and program management could have an easy way to access understanding of managing change and yes. how to to get change managed mm -hmm. but i also wanted my colleagues in change management to have a very practical set of activities mm -hmm. where they've gone further than just knowing the theory um, the change management practitioner qualification is fantastic but this is all about some practical activities the creating change. The Agile PM qualification is a fantastic Agile Absolutely. life cycle model. Yeah, yeah. But it says things like deployment's really important. Yeah, But this exactly. book tells you how to deploy. Okay. So for me, um, it was all about creating a qualification mm -hmm. that sat very much in the middle of those two. Mm -hmm. it, uh, there's no assumption that you mm -hmm. have got to have been on either the agile pm or the change management practitioner to take this course exactly. but equally you might decide after taking this course that you would like to pursue deeper knowledge in oh, yeah. either of those qualifications yeah. and that's fine too yeah so i'm i'm a pragmatist at heart <laughs> at the end of the day i want to do something that makes a difference and is useful and this course was all about um creating something that was very practical and and so it's it's been called the the book is called agile change management yeah the course is called agile change agent yeah, because yeah. we are agents of change and okay. that's what it was all about um yeah. and i think it's also widened out the audience because this book is also suitable and the the course is very suitable for if you are a line manager an operational manager within the business and increasingly, of course, with agile projects, mm -hmm. this is a group of people we want to be working very closely with. This yeah. is a way for them to understand the agile life cycle model. Exactly. We'll come and talk about that in the roadmap in a minute. But it's also a way of them understanding about change mm -hmm. management without having to go mm -hmm. on quite deep courses for mm -hmm. which they would immediately say, 
that's not relevant for me. This is all about coming up with something that's relevant for an audience who have one thing in common, whether they come from project management, change management or operational management. Mm -hmm. We're all in the same boat. We have to realize the benefits of change. Yeah, so it, it, uh, that that makes perf perfect sense. But it it actually means that uh, we all need to be effective, yes, in in our in our endeavors uh, and projects uh, can be sometimes very difficult. But uh, uh, what is interesting also in uh, what you say, uh, you you make a, a link between uh, the change management and this thinking about benefits and behavioral. Um, staff. Uh, can, can you develop a little bit uh, on, on, on this topic? Well, again, it comes back to one of my greatest concerns, which is that there is an entire industry uh, in benefits management. And I, I've also studied exactly. that qualification as well, um, which is great for structure. Yeah. The problem is that if we people are the benefits, problem. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. You identify the benefits, you come up with the measures of the benefits. But the only way mm. that you can actually realize, actually create the benefit is if each individual that is impacted by change, exactly. is that they, they make a decision here mm -hmm. that says, OK, exactly. I'll, I'll give it a go. I mean, <laughs> this, this book and this course is all about techniques for helping you just nudge them in that direction to mm -hmm. go, yeah, I, I will participate in this. Mm -hmm. And so everything is directed at this idea of how do we democratize change? Yes. We want to project, I know as, as a project manager, I need a much closer working relationship with my business counterparts than I've ever needed before. Mm -hmm. Change managers cannot um, advise on and engage in change without that strong relationship with yeah. those in the business and those in the business are being hit by so many different changes that exactly. they are also looking for a simple straightforward and intuitive techniques driven yeah. set of information mm -hmm. uh, I love the Agile PM and the Change Management Practitioner courses, mm -hmm. but they are courses where I would be able to lose myself in the theories and models of the subject. True. True. If I'm in an operational yeah. line management role, mm -hmm. I haven't got the time for that. I just want to be told, look, here are some techniques you can use that will help you get done what you need to get done. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, it also, uh, I, I understand, involves uh, uh, your abilities to, um, to, to get the interests of people and to, to make them really interested about your change. And I remember from your, from your workshop that uh, there was the whole topic uh, spent on uh, uh, meaningfulness of, of the change. Uh, so the benefits are one thing, but uh, I understand that you also uh, really think about the change being meaningful for different stakeholders. Am I right? Absolutely. If, if you think about the benefits over here, the journey, now, the journey is often a curve. It's a dip because exactly. when we first start trying to do something new, we lose productivity. We struggle because it's different mm -hmm. and we have to keep going to come out the other side to realize the benefit. Yeah, yeah. And the thing that we have to achieve is we have to achieve this willingness. People come along and they have to be prepared to jump off the cliff and come mm -hmm. out the other side. Well, the key thing is that if you're going to jump off the cliff, you're going to have to feel motivated. Mm -hmm. You're going to want to do this. Mm -hmm. I have a choice. I can push you off the cliff, mm -hmm. but you'll just fall down to the bottom. But if you decide to jump, you'll jump and you'll come out the other side. Mm -hmm. So this is about uh, it's empowerment, it's autonomy, it's self-choice. So you're absolutely right to bring out the idea that Everything within the book is based on the concept of intrinsic motivation. Yes. This idea that we want to do something because we think it's valuable and meaningful, mm -hmm. that we are given some self-choice, some autonomy about how we participate. Mm -hmm. 
and that we're able to participate in a way mm -hmm. that builds our own skills and makes us feel like mm -hmm. we're learning and developing. Yeah, it so sounds it, sounds like very agile in uh, in in action. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It is. I love that phrase, agile in action. I yeah, think that's yeah. a great idea mm -hmm. because it's about moving the concepts of agile exactly. into practical ways of, of yeah. being agile. Actually, actually, it's the agile part of of the change management that that you have here. So, so I think it's also it's also beautiful because it is about uh, introducing agile in, in organizations. Uh, okay, uh, and uh, um, what about Without feeling that you have to know a yeah. huge amount of? You don't have to be an agile expert to yeah. go on the course, but if you know quite a lot of agile, mm -hmm. you'll be grateful that you're on the course because you'll be learning how to get others to come along with you. Yeah, but either exactly. way, it's it's about sort of I love this idea of agile in action and just trying to make sure that we are doing things in a moving away I suppose from a methodology and moving much more into how to do it so it's yeah. much more this course is all about how do I make yes. things happen so practical absolutely so yeah uh, and uh, speaking about the uh, practicality of this uh, of this course and of the change uh, it's uh, uh, of course also about a process and so the process is uh, is the roadmap here and uh, it's also very interesting because I, I understand that you can see this process from a high level somehow but also uh, but also you you enter a little bit deeper into uh, into to different various uh, activities of the change uh, uh, agent uh, in uh, first iteration of the roadmap and then in, in the second one. I'm very interested uh, uh, about that. Can you, can you just say a few words about uh, the difference of uh, uh, how, how different is the, um, the activity? If I can say this, of the of the agile change agent into different uh, uh, iterations. So what I've done is that when you come on the course, you'll recognise that um, the roadmap is the journey plan. It's a plan, exactly. effectively. Yeah. And you'll see that if you happen to have come from the world of Agile PM, yeah. you'll recognise that some of the things I say is that at the start of the roadmap, we're we're going to chunk up our journey into what we've called iterations chunks and iteration one is the one where we get things organized and you'll see from an agile pm perspective that that looks very much like feasibility and foundations from a print oh, team perspective yeah. this looks very much like Absolutely. starting up and initiating a project yeah. if you happen to come from the managing successful programs uh, world you'll recognize that this is identifying yeah. and defining a program So you'll see that I'm very well versed in a lot of these methodologies mm -hmm. and I've taken the essence of them and said, look, it's a good idea that we do a little bit of time on getting organized. And I've suggested that there are five key sort of pieces of information. I haven't gone down the route of insisting that you learn a specific kind of template exactly. with every sort of item on it. Be because in the real world, mm. that never happens. Oh, okay. What I've suggested <laughs> is that there's five key areas that you mm. would want, including things like a, um, a business case, fairly obviously. Mm -hmm. But also I've called it the description of change, mm -hmm. which some people might call a, a vision statement. Uh, you mm -hmm. might call it a blueprint. You might even think of it as the project initiation document. But mm -hmm. either way, there mm -hmm. is something there that, sets out the scope of the change then we have the business case mm -hmm. we have the strategy for how we are going mm -hmm. to make this change sure. happen how yeah. we're all going to work together the change plan and the communications plan yeah and, and so i've sort of hived that off and said mm -hmm. have a go at getting organized with that information but i recognize yeah. that the world moves on and that as we move through iteration after iteration you will need to revisit and where necessary update that information. So mm -hmm. it, it's very agile. Mm -hmm. And then what I'm saying is iteration two and three and four, yes. and however many you want to have yeah. is all about 
actually, how do I um, create the change? How do I make change happen? Wave after wave. Yeah. Because the key thing is that with each iteration, we are delivering return on investment. We are realizing the benefits. Benefits again. Yeah, benefits absolutely. Again. Yeah, but that, that's uh, that's the beauty of, of it because uh, actually uh, you have a kind of same structure within uh, uh, iteration number one and iteration uh, next uh, subsequent iterations, but at, at the same time uh, doing different things because uh, different things are needed actually. Uh, so so I can I can also see that uh, uh, it's uh, not exactly what it was for project management because it is. Uh, it is somehow um, enriched by uh, by specific uh, information, uh, which is uh, specific for change management. So, so that's how I can see it. Like it's like it's like assisting project or program management a little bit. Uh, yes. Yes, it's complementary. Everything is complementary on this course right. uh, because we're here to enhance our ability to get things done. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not here to uh, try to give you um, lots of different and new information. What mm -hmm. I'm trying to do with this course is bring together lots mm -hmm. of things that we already know. Even if we've never formally been trained, mm -hmm. we have a lot of common sense. And I'm just sure. trying to set out this common sense in the journey of how do I achieve change exactly yes exactly and uh, from from what you say i also understand that uh this uh, agile change agent should be actually uh involved in the process from the very beginning so uh, it's it's no longer like uh, you are in the middle of a change you you don't uh, you can't deal with it you know you, you can't cope and then you uh, you call for someone for a specialist who will you know do the job for for you but it's rather a partner uh, someone in the organization um, I, i'm not so sure who, if, so who is an agile change ex agent exactly <laughs> And, and I think the answer is um, it can be uh, a variety of different uh, roles depending on the organization. Um, so the key thing that we're having a look at is that the agile change agent um, is uh, going to be somebody who comes from the uh, line management responsibilities mm -hmm. and they want to use this life cycle model to, to work that out. Yeah or they come from the project or program management and they want to make sure that change is going to happen and they are the ones that are helping people okay. follow this process or it's somebody from a change management professional who yeah. is helping the organization follow this process mm -hmm. so it it the, an agile change engine, we are all agents of change exactly. and we can all use this process mm -hmm. to help us get our job done. So an agile change agent is a, isn't a particular person or role. It's all of us. And so this is a universal process that anybody mm -hmm. could apply depending oh on what their <laughs> objectives are. That's huge. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but, well, uh, I think, and I, I, I think I've, uh, those of you who follow me on LinkedIn, you'll know that I'm increasingly writing on the subject of democratization of change management. Mm -hmm. Change management, I think, is no longer being done by a small group of professionals exactly. to the organization. I yeah. think increasingly we are looking at exactly. everybody's got a responsibility for this. And everybody's got to really take part. And I think increasingly that's what we're, we're seeing. Oh, that's that's really wonderful. Thank you. Thank you very much. But, it's been a pleasure. Uh, one, one more thing. Uh, so can you can you imagine a team of, uh, of agents helping uh, um, an organization within one initiative or more than yes, that. I think increase. Uh, I think what you're going to find is that um, you might, that the, depending on the size of the initiative, and I of think course. you alluded to this earlier on, but when we have a look at the roadmap, for example, you can actually say that the roadmap um, uh, can be used for at a, at a almost at a program level. Mm -hmm. And you could then dip down into individual initiatives within that program. And so you might very well have various people using this this yeah, uh, roadmap yeah, yeah. and the whole concept um, of agile change um, for a very large initiative 
Um, also, but for a small individual initiative as well, it works very well. I have found it very easy to scale it up and to scale it down Great. as I need to. Yes, yes, it's agile. <laughs> so. Very agile. <laughs> yeah, very yeah. agile. <laughs> I've got to, I've got to be authentic. I have to. Um, True. I, I need something that works because I'm leading lots of different change initiatives for clients, and I need something practical that works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and to coach to coach them, you, you need to be <laughs> also um, very confident uh, on, uh, about what you say. And my last question uh, will be uh, still about the. Uh, Uh, the roadmap, uh, but maybe now a little bit more about the second uh, and next uh, iteration. Uh, so w- when you take a look at it, uh, and uh, for example, if uh, you are li- like me, um, um, someone who, uh, who has already uh, a certificate uh, from uh, Agile PM, for example, you may uh, immediately think about uh, uh, a certain, uh, you know, procedure or technique uh, that that is used uh, uh, to to deliver a project uh, uh, project solutions huh? so uh, for example you may think about time boxes you may think about uh, uh, if you are in scrum it could be about sprints um, so uh, do, do you think about it like this or the iteration is just uh, a large concept for you Iteration can be a large concept. So it might be that I'm going to deliver a a capability in the next uh, three months. But I believe absolutely in the agile concepts. And so with those agile concepts, uh, I might take the 12 weeks and go, but in order to make sure I deliver on the 12 weeks, I'm going to chunk it up into two week time boxes or sprints, for example. Yeah. Um, so absolutely, I, I totally endorse that those who know those agile techniques, um, I encourage them to be used. It's the same as in the book. I talk about using the Moscow prioritization technique yeah. and I encourage people um, to use uh, user stories. User if they find stories. That that helpful. Yes, user stories. Um, mm-hmm. So all of these techniques, you can use a Kanban board if you want to. There's all sorts of things that you might choose to do. Yeah. Um, The, 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 this course gives you this idea of we're chunking up a, a change into early wins mm-hmm. followed by the next win, the next win, the next yeah. win. Each of those is giving a return on investment. Exactly. And that that to me is what's really important. Now, if you know other techniques, you can absolutely bring them in to how you achieve that successful iteration. Mm-hmm. If you don't know them, It doesn't matter uh, because you still understand what you've got to achieve and you can use whatever techniques you prefer to use. But I'm giving you lots of guidance. There's lots of ideas in this book and there's lots of those things that you'll be showing in your course that really helps people learn new ways of doing things. Yes, absolutely. Oh my God, we have so many things to think about <laughs> now. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, it was it was very interesting for me, and I'm sure it will be interesting also for our uh, for our clients. Uh, uh, so thank you very much, uh, uh, Melanie, for for sharing this uh, with us. Uh, um, uh, yeah, and thank you for your great book and uh, your wonderful courses. And we'll Brilliant. be in touch. I will tell you how it works in Poland. <laughs> Superb. I'm looking forward to it. Good Thank luck. you very much. Take care. Bye bye.